Well, siphon coffee, um, that concept came from just research really, and also a trip to Vancouver where we saw a siphon bar. And we saw that it was a very unique brewing method that also looked very engaging uh, on one part. And then the second part, it also delivers a very, very clean, crisp cup of coffee. So very smooth, uh, very different body of coffee. And, um, and we thought that that fit very nicely into our three key pillars again. And that's what we adopted and decided to take that on, learn how to brew siphon. And right now, as we speak, I believe we're the only one in the city that offers siphon coffee. Um, siphon coffee basically starts with using two vessels. Uh, you use a bottom vessel with hot water and you continue to boil it and heat it up and you attach a top vessel to it and essentially the water rises up through pressure and then filling the top vessel with water. There's also a filter placed in the middle and that allows it to separate all the coffee grinds and um, what happens is when the water has reached the top vessel we will measure the temperature just before we introduce the coffee grinds in. Pour the coffee grinds from the top and let it brew for one minute. And as soon as that's completed, we will take it off the heat source and there will be a change in pressure. We've got two types of coffee today. We've got one which is a, um, an Ethiopian limu, so it's from the, uh, an Ethiopian varietal, and it's a really good, com what we call quote unquote comfort coffee. It has some nice dark chocolate notes and nutty flavor notes to it. And then our next one is a very special coffee for Colombia. It's from what we call a nano lot, and it's a very tiny farm lot that can only produce 154 pounds of raw bean worldwide and once a year. And after it's roasted, it's about 130 pounds and we've bought all of it for Calgary. Well, it was a, a different flavor of coffee. Like I've been drinking coffee all my life and coffee normally gives you, you know, a dry mouth after, a bitter aftertaste. And so when Derek said, try this siphon coffee, um, I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. And it, it was amazing, actually. It's, there's no aftertaste. There's just great flavored coffee. Describing it is, is, can be more convoluted. Um, when you see it, it's actually very simple. It's basic, uh, basic chemistry and physics to it because you're looking with pressure and with the heat source. So I think everybody has experienced that before. So uh, when they see it, it's going like, oh, wow, it's actually quite simple. Um, and I think the most uh, interesting part of it is um, the taste. 